Hello everyone, I'm LH Master 2005 and welcome to Riddle School 2. It's another game that I played before when I was 11 years old in elementary school in 5th grade. And this game was created by the same creator who created One Night Death Lefties again. So let's start the game. Jono Chrome presents. I'm in a music class. A music classroom. Thought bubble. Fuzzy B. Ooh, trying to perk up. So tired that I just fell on the ground. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey Thread, can you help me escape school again? I have a whistle as if that would be useful. It might help. Can I have it? Only if you have a dollar. I can make a dollar. Here, 25, 50, 75, and 100. That's the bad director, Mr. O. Bodie. He only got hired because of his name. Okay, that's Zack, who is always very, very cold. I wonder why he never wears more than one sweater. Let me start it over. That's Zack, who is always very, very cold. I wonder why he never wears more than one sweater. That's Smiley. She is the only one around who likes school. Which I love, school. Like her. All right, catch a bass. That's pretty funny. Bass is a fish, like bass is a guitar, like bass has a good thing. Guitar like music, bass is music, and bass is a fish. If you don't know what I mean, leave a comment down below and I'll try to explain it. All right, here you go, one dollar. Here's my whistle for that dollar you got there. I don't actually use it anyway. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna use it. See ya. Here's your whistle back, Thread. I don't feel like stealing music from you at the moment. Alright, let's get out of here. Now that was a sharp idea. I can't believe I said that. Alright, Mrs. Sleep's classroom. Ooh, that's Mrs. Sleep. She hasn't moved since last month. Until we find someone to drag her out of the room and place her. She's here to stay. It's kind of boring, but at least we don't have to do any work. That's Mrs. Sleep's computer. It was in sleep mode until someone unplugged it. Isn't it that interesting? She stopped at the letter Z. I think my trombone slide oil could be of use, and I'll bring my 30 cents along. Just in case. Okay. There's nothing else in there but dust and a video. Let's start over. There's nothing else in there but dust and a videotape of me struggling to open a peanut butter jar. A peanut butter jar. All right, let's go. All right. I'm not going the band room or the woman's bathroom. I break for ducks. Do you? Hmm. I don't get it. Cool water fountain. Alright, men's room. Um, does anyone out there have toilet paper? No, but I'll get you some. Ooh, I want a cookie. Just a cookie, nothing else. Feed me. Of course, I'll feed you soon. Slitty. Cool, toilet paper. Riddle School 2. Riddle School 2. Wow, they made a second one. Awesome. I'll have to check it out once I escape school. I hope the main character looks better in the game than he does on this poster, though. I probably won't need that. Of course, you don't. The only fire this school's ever had was when Zack sneezed all over that science project. I'm sorry, over. The only fire this school's ever had was when Zack sneezed all over that science project. Alright. Why are you in here? I got permission to buy a cookie. Which teacher set you in here? Mrs. Sleep. She's been asleep since last month. Mr. O. Bowie, do you have a note? I didn't think so. Get out! I'm going in there again. Why are you in here? I was in the hallway and I thought I might stop by. Nope. I just saw a cow in the office randomly burst into flames. Exclamation mark. Was it my cow? What did it look like? 
Actually, I'm not sure whether or not it was Cal. That doesn't convince me the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to go over. That doesn't convince me the story's true. It didn't sound that believable to begin with. If you don't have anything useful to say, I suggest that you get back to class. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to the men's room. Give this guy toilet paper. You are welcome. And that guy says thank you to me. But he doesn't actually. I just say that. You're welcome. That's why I said too. Cool mop. We're going to Jander's room because Jander needs its mop to clean school. Where'd you find my mop? I've been looking all over for it. Thanks for returning it. Here's my last thought. I'm sorry, over. Thanks for returning it. Here's my last thought. And don't waste it on the school's cheesy pencils. I won't. I'll buy something useful with it. With the coin that he gave me. I'll buy something useful, like the cookie, the cookie vending machine. Alright, let's look around. Cool. A coin. Alright. I'm working on it, buddy. You gotta wait. That's Joe. His class is at lunch, and he's too dumb to figure that out. Those are insignificant posters. Alright. Those are insignificant posters. It's a vent. Let me say that. Let me read that again. It's a vent. Yum yum. Vents are not that tasty. It's made out of metal. That's a broken title. It serves no purpose. Let me start all over. That's a broken title. I mean, let me start all over. That's broken. That's a broken title. It serves no purpose. All right. Ooh, they're out the room. Okay, let's go explore the teacher's room. Mrs. Green. Wow, this room is really green. Green guacamole is good. I love guacamole for good stuff. All right, anything around here? Miss Green spilled coffee on that wall. Destroying its surface. Destroying its surface. Okay, Mr. Sun, have a nice visit while have a nice visit while you're here, and hurry back to class when you're finished. On the plus side, get it? Ha 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 ha. Sorry, I don't get it. That doesn't make sense. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Blueberry 90%. It's called the P.I. Oh, pie chart because 3.14% of the people said pumpkin pie was their favorite. Love Star Lover. It's called the pie chart because 3.14% of the people said pumpkin pie was their favorite. Anything around here? Cool. A coin. Alright. Let's go to the teacher's lounge and plug in the cookie machine and put our coins in there. 25, 50, 60, 70, 75. Cool. For one cookie for the big guy. Right here. Hey buddy, you want your cookie? Come get it. Hey, your precious is right there. <laughs> get it? He loves the cookie. That's the way he only cares about cookies. <laughs> uh, find it funny. Hey, it's five. That's five. Yeah. Yes. That's his name. He won a school election a few years ago. Let me start over. He won a school election a few years ago with his both five shirts. Yeah, I remember seeing that from the last episode of Real School 1. A poster of five with his five shirt. Like his shirt was giving people attention that made him get voted on his election. Yeah, election. It's a bowling ball. I know. It looks pretty cool. Smiley face. None of the file cabinets are unlocked. Mr. Mr. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. We're gonna get that key. Mr. Mr. I'm keeping this. Ooh. He wasn't angry at all. I think he took the key. Alright, let's get out of here.
boom, we did it. We escaped. The school again. Real school 2 is completed. We did it, you guys. Sorry, I just had an itch. We did it. We completed Riddle School 2. Woo! Yeah, freedom. Riddle School 2. Directed by Jonah Crow. The director of One Night at Plumpkins. Programmed by Jonah Crow. Designed by Jonah Crow. Drawn anime by Jonah Crow. All that work is by Jonah Crow. But. Except the music, that's from another creator. 2006, that's when the game came out. Alright, we are back in the main menu, guys. Let's check out the disclaimer. Disclaimer, this is a spoof tribute of Pico School by Tom Fulp. This is the same disclaimer from Riddle School 1 that you guys saw from the last game when I was playing Riddle School. The last Riddle School game. What about the fun facts? Oh. This one's a different one. Time to make 3 to 4 weeks. Library items, 168 items. Rooms in map, 18 rooms. When I designed to fill the main character, it was more or less. Let me start. When I designed to fill the main character, it was more or less an accident. Originally, I had a tribute to Manus and Pico's school planted, but that idea was tossed into oblivion and the little madness character was edited to become a character with big eyes and thin arms now phil has become one of my trademark characters who i hope will branch out to new heights cool so that is real school you guys if you guys want to play this game go to the description below by going to gabe jolt and download this game for yourself and if you guys liked this video Please like and subscribe if you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next game of Real School. Have an awesome day, you guys!